Hi, my name is Michael Issa. I'm the Senior Director of Products here at OpsWatt. Today, I'd like to show you how to enforce your critical infrastructure security system inside an air gap network using OpsWatt's next generation cybersecurity product, Meta Defender Media Firewall. OpsWatt is the market leader in critical infrastructure protection of removable media with advanced threat protection technologies such as multi-scanning, deep CDR, and much more. These technologies are available on our Kiox product line. A person who wants to perform routine calibration of an OT machinery, conduct firmware upgrades of PLC, or perform general purpose OT equipment maintenance inside an air gap network, must scan their media devices first at the Kiox. Next, there must be an enforcement layer per SCADA host system prior to using these files. This is where the media firewall comes in play. The media firewall establishes the enforcement security layer to protect the whole SCADA system without the need to install any software agents onto the SCADA machine. This helps you complete your compliance requirements for your organization. It's plug and play appliance. All OpsWatt software comes pre-installed and there's no minimum configuration required to get it working. Let's take a quick look at a demo. I have in front of me the media firewall connected to a wor engineering workstation over a USB cable. It also connects to the internet over ethernet that connects to an on-prem OCM server that you can see it uh, right behind me here. In the front lobby, I have deployed OpsWatt Kiox right behind me, and I have two devices that I have pre-scanned at the Kiox. Before I take any of these files or any of these devices and plug them into my workstation, there are some important files here that I need to perform my duty tasks on. I'll need to go through the media firewall and have the media firewall inspect, verify, and check before I can uh, consume these files on the SCADA machine. And you can notice that we have several IOs on one appliance put together. This is USB-A, USB-C, SD card, micro SD, and flash card. Uh, all the popular IOs for media, portable media is available in one device. And the reason we did that is because we want to eliminate the need for using dongles. As a best security practice inside the air gap network, not to leverage any dongles due to knockoffs, hacks, embedded microcontrollers within these dongles that can render some security breaches within your SCADA system. So I'm gonna insert one of the USBs in the USB slot, and you can see it's flashing orange. That means if you look, if you refer to the user guide of the media firewall, a flashing orange means there's some suspicious or malicious files present along with some clean files perhaps on this device. And this device is not recommended to be used at any times as a direct plugin into any SCADA machine. The second file I have in my position is an SD card. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in as well into the appropriate slot. And you can see it's solid green. A solid green indicator means all files on this device are clean and sanitized and can be consumed by the SCADA. This has been already transferred into the SCADA machine automatically and ready to be used to perform your daily tasks with. Now, you might ask the question, if I have a solid green LED and I already know that at the Kiox, why do I need to have a media firewall verify it again? Again, it's an enforcement layer. Anything between the Kiox and where the media firewall is deployed, there is a potential of transposing these devices. They all look alike. Potential of the manifest on this device being tampered with, or a potential of added files along the way uh, that somebody may have added them because they realized they didn't have them before. The media firewall will automatically detect any tampering and flags it as suspicious, and you will need to go back to the Kiox for a rescan. The media firewall has a unique architecture, both hardware and software, designed end-to-end -end by OpsWatt, where it allows it to be present in front of the SCADA machine. And the SCADA machine, the HMI or whole system that it's protecting, is completely transparent to the presence of the media firewall.
when you do plug a device into one of the IOs, a mass storage is presented onto the SCADA machine as if the media firewall is completely not present. Another thing the media firewall does, it gives you the capability to get color LED indicators in a very simplified fashion, along with blink rates. And the combination of both allows to be in compliance with the American Disability Act for color impaired individuals. The other thing that the media firewall does is it verifies the manifest on the hash, as I mentioned, to make sure no tampering with the manifest has occurred during transportation of the device. It interrogates the IO device to make sure it has a proper vendor ID among other parameters. It validates the files versus the manifest and only transfers sanitized files to the SCADA. This is a best practice approach for the media firewall. We also designed the media firewall with King Kingston lock so you can physically attach it next to the SCADA machine and be able to permanently have it housed adjacent to it. If you want to be mobile, that's another use case. You can actually power up the media firewall using a 12 volt remote pack power supply and only use the indicators to verify. In the case of my example, the SD card was solid green and I can verify it before I use it in case I'm in a locomotive or a dashboard or a cockpit of a locomotive where I have garments and I need that particular device uh, to update a firmware on a garment system. The other thing we do with a media firewall is we inspect its health status and activities. Everything is logged locally as well as on the OCM server. And this is important to have an on-prem OCM deployment because you can centrally view, upgrade, and manage multiple devices in a single screen. Let's take a look at OCM deployment. This is a single pane of glass where you can manage all your firewall deployments. In this scenario, you get a dashboard with all the infected files, blocked files, concealed files available for you. You can easily set the timeline. You want to look at it the last 24 hours, 7 days, 30 days and uh, everything is aggregated for you. You can, with a click of a button, uh, download the trended usage and how many files blocked, how many files are concealed, and how many files are allowed within your organization trended over history. The deployment of these media firewall can be seen in this view on the instances, and you can see that I have several of them. Some are connected and some are disconnected. You can set alarms and alerts on a disconnected media firewalls and take immediate action to remedy them and bring them back online if somebody intentionally or accidentally disconnected it from the whole host SCADA machine. The other thing you can do in here is look at detailed trends where you can see in a particular peak hour during the day or maybe it's a monthly or weekly cadence where you have a lot of contractors coming into, into your facility for maintenance work. You can see that activity trended over history and manage that. The blocked files are the ones that are infected files that we will not allow the SCADA to access. The concealed files may have been scanned at the kiosk, and so at that point in time, they were good and we can allow them. But during transportation, some of them were modified or edited or tampered with. And that's the reason where they're hidden under a concealed block. That way you can, you can see the trend of these files and how they are being managed within your facilities and who's editing them after a scan. You can see the detailed report according to the various IOs that people plug these devices in and have that historic trend all available with a click of a button. As you have seen, the media firewall provides added security enforcement layer that allows your organization to meet compliance requirements such as NERC SIP for energy and oil sector, ISA 62443, NIST 800-53 and 82 for government sector, and ISO 27001 for supply chain manufacturing SOC compliance, in which any third-party software installation on a workstation or a SCADA machine is prohibited. Just remember, removable media security does not stop at the kiosk. It starts with the kiosk and needs to be enforced by the media firewall. For more information, please contact your sales agent. Thank you for watching.